Baseball was my first love in terms of sports. Last year I played, I was dominant. I like to joke with people, like every pro athlete like thinks they could have gone pro in another sport. I don't know that I could have gone pro in baseball, but you know, I think I had one career loss in Little League. The first time that my Roanoke team had made the national tournament. So we were out in Salt Lake City for 10 days. The game actually went into extra innings. We won in the eighth inning. I pitched all eight innings. I got home from that tournament and I just said to my dad, like, I'm exhausted. We discussed this story. Um, he claims that uh, I forced him out of baseball. He didn't put any pressure on me. I like to joke with him that he put pressure on me and made me choose basketball. That's not the case at all. He basically said, if you really want to be great, I think you should pick a sport. You know, I chose basketball. In hindsight, I think I made a really good decision. Welcome back to Angels Live. Alex Curry here with JJ Reddick himself. Welcome to the Big A. You mentioned in that video that baseball was your first love. You were a pitcher nonetheless. Yep. So is this kind of a surreal moment for you being here to throw out the first pitch at Angel Stadium? It is. It's my first time throwing out the first pitch uh, at a big league park. So this is, a, this is a big deal for me. So I'm going to put this out there. Two of your teammates, Paul Pierce bounced his first pitch at Dodger Stadium. But DJ came here last year and threw almost a perfect strike, so no pressure on you, but can you do better? I'm going to try to throw a dart. Um, I'm hoping that they got a gun somewhere around here and they clock me somewhere in the 70s and maybe, maybe next year I get a look for the Angels, I don't know. Well, the good news is you do have Mike Trout catching for you, so yeah. maybe his special powers will rub off on you. I hope so, for sure. <laughs> Now, let's also be honest here. The real reason you're here is because you want to get Mike Trout on your podcast. Uh, I don't know about that. I, you kind of plugged that idea to me. Now I, I can't stop thinking about it. But uh, I do have a podcast. Uh, it's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. It's called The Vertical Podcast with J.J. Reddick. And I do uh, talk to a lot of people around the sports world, not just basketball players. I've had golfers on and football players, uh, an assortment of people. Mike would be a good first baseball guest, I think. He would be, I think, yeah. the perfect think so first too. baseball yeah. guest. Now, the Clippers offseason really consisted of keeping your core lineup together. You guys did that. So what are your expectations heading into this next season, knowing that you still have that leadership on the team? I feel like for the last few years, we've been right there. And by keeping our group together, we know we're going to be right there. We're going to need some luck. We're going to need some breaks to go our way. But uh, we'll have a chance again this season. I think you will, too. And I'm going to wish you the best of luck out here today. Are we going to see a perfect strike? Oh, I'm throwing a dart. I'm telling you, I'm throwing a dart. Okay, wind up. DJ gave, like, the full leg kick wind up. I'm not going to be so dramatic. Okay. All, right. All right. All right, good luck. All right, thank you. Patrick, back to you.